I'm leaving home for the coastline Someplace under the sun I feel my heart for the first time Cause now I'm moving on, yeah I'm moving on I've shown you cars and trucks and buses a while ago Today let's going to talk about passengers and drivers Ano nga ba ang pasahero? Ano nga rin ba ang driver? Now in life, they say there are only two kinds of people A driver and a passenger Let's talk first about the passenger A passenger, when there's a bus, or there's a taxi, or there's a car You get into the bus, you sit into the passenger seat Get on your earpods, play your music, or wave with your friends or your, your fans And then enjoy the ride if something happens along the way with the truck or with the bus, there's nothing you can do. You are under the mercy of the driver. Probably what you can do best is just to complain or get out of the bus or from the bus or get another bus. Now, that's what happens when you're a passenger. When there's traffic, there's nothing you can do. You can, you can just get off from the bus, look for another ride and off you go. What you can do best is stay in the taxi, stay in the bus, and wait for the, the road to be clear. You cannot control because you are not the one driving. When you are in your travel, when you are in your journey, and something happens to your bus, to your, to your car, or to your taxi, or to your, to your grub, there's nothing you can do. You just have to sit and wait for the car, for the bus to be fixed. Why? Because you are a passenger. In life, parang ganyan din yan. If you're a passenger, you are under the mercy of somebody. All you have to do is just to react on what happens from all around you. React, react, and react. That's what happens when you're a passenger. Sometimes you enjoy the ride. But we all know, the journey, the travel, is not always enjoyable, right? Meron traffic, ito problema sa sakyan, but then there's nothing you can do. And I hope you will not take care or handle your life that way. That you are under the mercy of somebody. Fix, don't just be a passenger. Now the driver. Let's talk about the driver. The driver gets in the bus, sits on the, on the driver's seat, start the bus, start the car, start the behind, whatever is the ride, and off he goes. If there's traffic, he slows down, he stops, thinks of which way he can possibly pass through para mas mabilis ang biyahe. Now, when something happens to the car or to the truck, the driver gets off, he fixes a truck, he fixes a car, he fixes a sakyan. The driver is much, much, much more responsible. Why? Because he knows his destination. He knows where to, to pass. He knows where to go. Alam niya kung saan dadaan. Alam niya kung anong oras siya darating doon. Because kabisado niya na yung pagdadala ng sakyan niya. Do you know that drivers are more responsible? May traffic niya, may problema ng sakyan. They fix it. They don't wait for somebody. Unless it's really a big, there's really a big problem with the truck. The driver and the passenger. There's a big difference. The passengers, there's nothing they can do. They just have to wait for the driver. Mag-go complain lang. What if you're a passenger and the driver drives the bus so slow? I've heard this so many times, probably a thousand times during those times when I was still commuting. The passengers and all of them just complain. Ano ba yan? Ang bagal! Complain, complain, and complain. In life, parang ganun din minsan, no? Because we're not the one driving. Now, once upon a time, nagbihaya ko. It's a long trip. I took the bus. But the driver really drives all the passengers crazy. It's scary. It scares the hell of us. Because ang bilis. Grabe ang bilis. Now, one passenger sa likod. Paglingon ko, when I turn around, I saw the guy almost, I don't know what he's doing, but he's almost kneeling and probably he's praying. Nasaan na huminto? Meron na from the middle. Scream, Driver! Bagalan mo! Slow down! But the driver still drives fast. Why? Because may schedule siya na ahabulin. Now, that's what happens when you're a passenger. Wala kang control sa manibela. You don't have control over your life. If you treat your life and handle your life that way, 
na passenger ka that you allow other people to drive your life to decide for you my gosh if somebody decide decides for you like you don't know anything in life remember this pag wala kang gusto sa buhay you don't have any goals in life you don't have any destination somebody can just pull you up come ride with me and it's not your ride and you will not enjoy that journey now when you are a driver <clears throat> Kahit mahirap ang kalsada, you know how to maneuver. Because it's your truck. It's your life. You know the truck. You know the road. You know your destination. You are more and more responsible. Because you know, may pasahero ka. And you want to get to your destination. At may nag-aantay sa'yo. Love ones mo. Kaya you will drive with all your best. Today, I want you to think about your life. Would you like to be a driver or would you like to be a passenger? As for me and my child, because I'm your father figure and I'm a father figure of my baby girl, my palanga, I want her not to be a passenger. I want her to drive her life. And to all the parents who are watching right now, remember this. We are not raising kids or children or babies to become children. We are raising babies and kids to become adults and let's make them become more responsible and letting them know anak don't be a passenger but be a driver God has a plan for you it's in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 for I have plans for you plans to prosper you and it takes you it takes for you my friend to drive your life God bless you. Take care. This is your father figure saying, join me again next week for another little, a tiny, and sweet lesson. God bless.